Okay, here's the SMD7 unit, and we're going to show you how to turn it on using the power button on the side here. We also have the SD card input slots, and very small over here is the master reset button. On the back of the unit, you have your power socket, your transducer socket, and your enemy A2000 socket. That's how you connect it to your engine. When you have the bracket, it screws into the side, and if you flush mount it, it can flush mount using the edges. This is the SMD9 unit from Suzuki, and it, just like the SMD7, it has plugs on the back for power, transducer, just under the little flap there, and the NEMA 2000 network, that's where you connect it to your engine. On the side, there, you have the power button, and again, the slot for the SD cards. There's also a very, very small master reset button just here. Okay, so let's have a look at the back of the SMD12 and the SMD16 unit. For this example, we're going to use the SMD12, but they are identical at the back. So the first thing to note is the pigtail cables that the units get supplied with. On here, we have labels to tell you exactly what each cable does. So this one here is for the network. You'd use this for the radar, etc. Your NEMA 2000, this is where the data comes in from the engines. This is a multi-core cable that has got multiple uses. We'll get into that in the manual. We have analog video cameras in, two of those. So you can plug in your analog CCTV cameras. You have a USB controller. This could be used for a remote control or for saving waypoints, and etc. And lastly, you have the HDMI output. That can be used to run a TV, say, in a saloon, for example. Also on the back of the screen, you have a couple of plugs. We have this one here, which is your power plug. Under this waterproof cover here is the transducer for the fish finder plug, and you have the earth. Lastly, on the back of the units, you have a little cover, which is where the SD cards go. So an SD card usually gets arrived like this, but actually, we just want the bit that's inside, and that slides into the back. You then replace the cover to keep the waterproof, and the unit's good to go.